Okay, Mom. <clears throat> I'm going to try something different here. This is the tree farm that I was working on. I wanted to give you a quick view of all of this. Um, and as you can see, the area that I'm looking at was briefly unloaded. That's because it was behind me. And now it's in front of me. That goes to tell you or show you what I was talking about with the game AI um, knowing what's behind me. Oh, it's getting dark. I should have done this a little differently. This is the hole I was telling you I was in. I just bury myself in here, put a block of dirt up. And then the theory here is the... Um, the googlies can't come get me, but I stand here and, and the chickens continue making eggs. And as you can see by looking in here, oh my gosh, I have a lot of chickens. I come in here and breed them. Every time I walk by, I've got seeds in that chest right over there. Um, and then pick up the eggs, come in, drop them over here. I mean, I just, I'm going to need a lot of eggs for my project, so I'm putting that together. You know what? Um, I'm sorry to do this. It is getting dark and... I don't have everything lit up like I should, so let me run back to base, give you that tour. <gasps> creepers, creepers! Let's take this direction. Maybe they won't see me. You don't see me. See, you don't see me. Oh, uh, are they coming? Okay, nope. Okay, so here's what I did to this front entrance. Um, I did I did make some improvements right around here uh, with uh, some of the stone that I've mined up. I've put it out here as my decking. I've put um, cobblestone wall all the way around. It's uh, it's looking really good. And and if you'll remember from before, this is the door that I created, the double door, so that if I walk up on it, it opens. So the problems that I've been having with the doors. There, it's just real, really been challenging, so putting double doors in is uh, has really been a godsend. You know what? I want to bring you in the front door. There's just nothing like this effect. So I'll take my chances out here. Okay, so that's the new mine, and this is the new front of the building. Doesn't that look awesome? Look at all this stained glass, polished stone. And just like before, if I press the button, it opens. And here's my lobby. Here's a couch, a couple of tables, some chairs. Look, I even found some orchards out there and got the recipe for making flower pots. So I hate to say it, I have been fun decorating. I've created a staircase up to my room. Now, I haven't done much in here. I mean, the reno only covered the front area of the house so far. Uh, and my, Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I did put a library over here with a big comfortable seating area and lots of books. Look, there's a witch out there. Witches are scary people. They have potions to regenerate their health and to do undo all the damage that you do to them. So here is my staircase up to my room. I'm going to make this area here a sitting room. Back, I, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Okay. I did create a new enchant room up here. So I can walk up and uh, put, put my lapis lazul and gold chest plate. Use my enchant table. I put gold in here, which uh, gold has a really nice affinity with magic. So, do you see how it gets really high? That's projectile protection 4 on that chest plate. Um, so, I, I would lock that in and then put something like, you know, the diamond sword in. And, oh, that's going to give me sharpness 4. I'm, I'm going to take that. Good grief, that was a good enchant. Um, oh, I forgot I had uh, done a bunch of levels. I'd, I'd created some levels. So, I had the... I had the en uh, enchant levels to spend uh, from all the mining and, and zombie killing I did when I was doing my remodel. Uh, because I worked through the night and the day, and what wound up happening is, you know, they come to investigate what I'm doing, and I was having to kill them. Now, from this distance, this is the number of blocks distant, I can only see the three most close sheep. Now, if I go downstairs, here, first let me sleep. we we'll get rid of all the zombies. Uh-oh. OK. 
Okay, apparently it doesn't like this. No, nope. apparently it doesn't like this. Oh, I really don't want to... Alright, I'm going to move my bed. Let's just, for right now, let's put it out here. Oh, this is the one that's... Let's try putting it right here. I'm going to have to go through and reorganize. Yeah, it doesn't like anything being over my head. Did not know that. I worked through the night, so I wasn't trying to sleep. I'm sorry, my OCD kicked in. I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to move the bed. I think that'll be better for now, uh, but I'll check it in the morning. Um, so this is my bedroom. Uh, you know, I have an affinity for books. That's why there's so many books in here. Uh, this is my magic room, sitting room, or reading area. Let me take you down and show you what else is left. Oh, yeah, the, um, the tree farm, the new tree farm. There's nothing really to see in the new mine right now. I did have to do some remodeling because the stupid creeper blew me up. I'll take you over here and show you the automated cow farm. It's time to collect a little meat and leather. This is how I was able to build so many bookshelves. Uh, I've been, every time I come out here, I've been feeding these cows and they've been having babies and I've been collecting meat and leather see it just drops down into this chest ink sack we're spawning squid in the water interesting oh I didn't leave any um didn't leave any weed in here let's see if I have any weed in here I do yay Okay, so this is what it looks like. I did um, I did close in all the redstone. I did leave some maintenance chambers so I could get in there and do stuff. Got them hopping, just love on them with the wheat, feed them basically. When they're happy, uh, they get happy and make babies. Let's do a bunch of these. And I'm gonna look right down here. You see the little babies falling down into the channel they're going up that elevator. Let me see if I can't show you that elevator. They should be dropping in. There, there comes the first one. Oh, I'm going to leave them hopping. Oh, I didn't leave a way for myself to get up there. That's right. I remember now. Okay, so there's the water elevator. They're, they're, they're coming up. Now, animals and entities float. So as long as the water flow is moving in the right direction, they will float up. They'll try to get out, uh, but they'll eventually drop down into that little container, and they won't be able to escape. Here, let's turn the water off. They'll be trapped in this cell until they grow up. When they grow up, I'll walk up and just hit them again. So let's put half of that over here and half over this sheep. Okay, so I did spend some time creating multiple pens and sorting them. Oh my god, sheep are stupid. Sorting them was such a challenge. So I have all blue sheep in here. I have all blue sheep in here, the smaller pen. And then I have all white sheep in here. I don't want them mixing because when they make little cyan babies, little light blue babies, I, I'm not loving... Um, the color. I'm just really not. So, I like the darker blue. That's the carpet I used in my house. I tried the, the lighter blue first. Just did not love it. So, let's make everybody happy. Make some more babies. Again, I do this pretty much every time I walk by. Uh-oh, stop. That was close. Almost let them mingle again. I told you, sheep are stupid. Let's go over here, put one of these on. I've been I meant to do this earlier. I'd prefer to have white carpet here because that's the color of the sheep and that's just the way I roll. I am OCD, but then you knew that. Come on, really? Nobody wants the wheat? 
Oh, I held it up and then took it away. So you've lost interest. Got it. This is why it was so difficult to sort them. Because they, uh, they would be enticed by it for a minute, and then they'd lose interest. Okay, so that's the sheep farm. You've seen the automated cow farm. Let's go run upstairs. I don't know if I've taken you into this building. Uh, this is the portal building. This is what leads to the nether portal. Oh, not fast enough. This is what leads to the other dimension, and I do need to come in here and clean this up. I accidentally dropped a, a cobblestone there, which is really nerving me. Really hits my OCD button hard. Okay, so let's follow the cobblestone path over and see my tree farm. And the proposed site of my um, new chicken automated farm. So I'm learning... Look at how many chickens and eggs there are, because I'm out here. Two pens of uh, pigs. I'm going to be having pork chops for days. Okay, so this was the last big project. I, I know you've probably seen the video, uh, but one thing I did do was I came in and I knocked down the limiter up here. And I think I'm going to, after I take all this wood out, I think I'm going to use this area for botanicals orchards, uh, I'm sorry, um, orchids, lilies, things that create the dyes. I'm going to bring in here and breed them with bone meal um, so I don't have to go out into the world and find them. Those orchids are pretty rare. I was lucky to find as many as I did. Okay, so this is the tree farm. and We have to be careful. As you can see, there's water flowing all the way under us. And the only way to move forward is to take down a tree. So it just dropped a sapling, and that sapling probably fell into the water. Now, a couple of the wood a uh, couple of the wood blocks didn't, but that's fine. I pick them up. So again, I don't have to do anything to um to make this effective for me. So, let's just walk, knock a few of these down, and what fell hit the water and the water is flowing down to, let me show you. Uh and I haven't I haven't boxed this in yet. This is currently my maintenance area. Uh, I don't know that I'm 100% done with the water flow issues. So, see how it flows around and everything that I get lands in this uh, trunk. Oh, it looks like I picked up all the saplings and the trunks. So I'm getting ink sacks, which means there are squid that are spawning in water and, and squid basically can spawn in any water source come on get up get up get up get up there we go okay so I've just got it where it flows downhill oh there's my eddy I was telling you about I still haven't resolved that one um, but you know what coming in here and picking up just what's in that eddy is not a big deal for me uh, it's mostly a success so I'm going to call it good. I know that's terrible, and, and I hate to be the mostly is good enough kind of gal, but, um, you know, right now I am. This is so frustrating. Oh, over in that direction, I found a desert temple, and I found a spawner. Uh, I blocked it off with um, torches, so it'll be there for me when, I, when I'm ready. Uh, I'm going to go over there and create a mob farm so I can gather XP and whatever it is that they drop. Um, I can't remember now what spawner is. Is it zombies or skellies? It's it's one of those. And either one is great. Uh, bone meal for the garden. Um, let's just pick up some chicken. Uh, I don't like them out here wandering around. I don't want to have to chase my eggs. In fact, let's put these eggs up. I will take the raw meat in and cook it. And I need to head in. It looks like my, I wasn't paying attention to my hungry bar. So this is my sugarcane farm. I haven't done anything to automate it yet, but it has produced a lot of paper. I still have probably four stacks of 64 left um, from making all my bookshelves. So between the leather farm and the sugarcane farm uh, and my tree farm, I've been able to make a truck load of bookshelves, which allowed me to create a second enchant level. Oh.
See, even double doors I have trouble with. So you understand now why I had to do, uh, I had to open it. That single door, I, I almost never got in it without taking hitch from behind if there was somebody coming up behind me. So the double doors were a requirement. There we go, have a little munch. The double doors were a requirement. Look at that orchard, isn't that pretty? Okay, so that ends the tour. It's time for me to get busy um, mining. Uh, so this is the Geeky Minecrafter. You know me as Sine. Signing off. Happy mining. <laughs>